This is section 1.3, Average Rate of Change. In this video, we're going to go through an example problem that's really similar to number 22 and 23 in your book. In this problem, we have a crudely drawn graph here, and they're asking for the intervals of increasing and decreasing of our function, and also wherever we have a local min or local max. Okay, so starting with increasing and decreasing, for, to find those intervals, we just look to see wherever the slope is positive, or wherever the function is going up and when it's going down. Wherever it's going up, that means that our function is increasing. Wherever it's going down, that means our function is decreasing. So we see that it's increasing from all the way down here up to this point, because at this point, it all of a sudden starts going down. So it's increasing from negative infinity to this x value here, which is negative 5. Um, is it increasing on any other intervals? We see it's decreasing here. So all of a sudden, at this point, we have this positive slope again, or our function is going up again. And that happens from x equals 2 to x equals 7. And we see that after that, our function's decreasing again. Okay, so we have our intervals of increasing. Our intervals of decreasing are just all the in-between parts. So we have from negative 5 down to positive 2. And from x equals 7 to positive infinity. Okay, so we see that our function was increasing, or was going up on these two intervals, and it was decreasing on these other intervals, where it was going down, or had a negative slope. To find our local min and max, that's just wherever we have a top of a hill, or like the bottom of a valley, that'll be our local max and our local min. Also, you can think about it, it's wherever the function goes from increasing to decreasing, or vice versa. So we see here, we have top of a hill right here, it's going from increasing to decreasing. Up here, we have a max. So we have a local max at x equals negative 5, and the y value is y equals positive 8. And we go down here, we have a min right here where the function changes from decreasing to increasing. And our min happens at x equals 2 and y equals negative 10. And we have another max right here where our graph changes from increasing to decreasing at x equals 7 and y equals 3. So to find our mins and maxes, we just look to see wherever we have a curve. So at the top of the hill, we'll have some max, and at the bottom, we'll have some min. Other than that, that's it for this problem. The concepts covered in this video are true no matter what pre-cal class you're in, but in case you're interested, all the problems referenced in this book came from this lovely book right here. Remember that if you're a Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sidrich. You can either make an appointment or drop in whenever you're available to get tutoring in pre-cal, calculus, and a bunch of other subjects as well. Feel free to visit our website for more information.